Welcome back. It is time. I'm so excited. I'm gonna navigate. Aha! Let's do it. Oh, there's a chest over there. Nope. Nope. We are doing no chests. We are going straight down. I wanna see what this is, though. It's cool. <gasps> Cutscene! And who might we be? <gasps> Those that dare enter Dreyun Cursed. That is so cool. Hi. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting the Adepti to be... I'm assuming this is an Adeptus. You look amazing. Look at those horns. And I appreciate that we are approaching politely. You know, it's not attack first, ask questions later. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. Um. Yeah, let's just go ahead, come straight out with the... I think I have a little token that says that I'm allowed to be here. Please take a look at this. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? I love how they're translating this dialogue because you can really tell that Mooncarver speaks in a very distinguished way. At least, I'm guessing that's what, how it read in the original Chinese as well, because this is so cool. Wow. Actually. Actually? It's the assassin. They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. I have been framed, okay? Sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Oh, this is interesting. We're going to have to see what Mooncarver chooses to do, whose side to take. Disturbing our borders. Ooh, our side, because we have permission. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Sure. Oh no. Ooh. Two arms. Take yeah. the target alive! Hold nothing back and unleash your skills with the power of the attack. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, wow, I am doing a lot of damage. I'm not exactly sure how they're helping you, but they are. Is it my range has increased? It feels like my damage markers are definitely higher than normal. Wait, I have this again? Well, then I want to be Kaya. Take the target alive. Take the target alive. I appreciate that. Cool it. What's the hurry? I'm gonna stick with Kaya because he's a heal. Who goes there? Who goes there? It's me, your wanted target. Cool it. Alright, get back here. Bunch up again, please. I would like to hit you in a group. There you are. There you are. My cooldowns have been greatly reduced. This is so fun! Shout out to Moon Carver. I feel like I might be proving myself as well at this moment. That's not bad. Starfall! Take the target alive! Rumble apart! There we go. Having a little bit of trouble actually for some reason.
You've di oh, we've digressed. State your purpose, traveler. Well... Paimon will summarize for me. Thank you, Paimon. Preposterous. Yeah, see, there's no way I could have done this. Preposterous! Oh, you're mad, though. The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. <laughs> How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? Right? See, maybe you're saying this like, how dare they allow this to happen, but I'm still thinking, how could this have happened, you know? And then place suspicion upon the attendees! Really? Thank you! Thank you! <sighs> Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. Mm -hmm. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, Lest the mind be misguided. No, take your time. I appreciate the due process here. Go. At least it's actually happening. Take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Where should I go? Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Ooh. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. And possibly my quest log. There exists a conqueror of demons. A guardian yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. Ooh. There you shall seek him. Oh, this is one area that I accidentally didn't get to, so this is perfect. Hooray! Wangshu Inn, let's go. Oh, over there? Wait. Okay. Go to Wangshu Inn, seek out Mountain Shaper, and... Okay. Which one do you think I should do first? Possibly these ones, because they're closest, and then we'll head to Wangshu Inn? Ooh, Jocular. Ooh, wow, look at those rocks. There it is. Ooh, a chest down there. Great. I'm going to fly directly over this chest so that I can mark it on the map. Right here. Definitely want to come back for that one later. I don't want to do it right now. Because I have a chest to progress. Hey, there's that second one. Hey, Asili. Just so beautiful here. <laughs> Catch the wind. Sliding off all these rocks. Should I get the Asili while we're at it? I just I don't see its cathedral. What's it called? Citadel. I don't know how far away it's going to want to take me. Oh, look at that. Obscured by the clouds. Oh, we're joining the, um... The hilly trails down here. Okay, apparently we're going all the way down. That's right, I can teleport back up. Ooh, and there's probably a chest down here in those, um, things if I break them. Not break them, but light them up. Ooh, that was close. Is this an answer from this world? Oh, I'm climbing. Whoops. <laughs> I wonder if these will stay lit if I light them. I need more of that stuff. There it is. I love how we've gone from, oh yes, the, um, the adept eye. Immortal beings, they do not, you know, converse with mankind all that op often. They are hidden in the mountains, or at least they are rumored to be. No one's ever seen them except for this random old lady because she's awesome like that. 
go find these legendary beings who may or may not be where we think they are. And now it's like, all right, I'll you need to find close. this guy. You need to find this guy. You need to find this guy. Tell them that I sent you. <laughs> really. Um, speed running our adept eye relationships. Oh, hello. There's a person here. A treasure hoard. Have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. Ooh. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. W what's wrong? Who are you? What's going on? That's what I want to ask you. We asked you first. I like his outfit. Oh. You enjoy safe passage and joy in karst. It can only mean one thing. Is he going to say that we're an Adeptus? You must be Adepti messengers. Uh. Sent here to rescue me and my brother. Not quite. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor. And we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. Are you sure about that? It says right underneath your name that you're a treasure hoarder. It was stupid of us. But all we wanted to do was find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber, it swallowed up my brother Li Dang. Oh, no. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, at long last, two messengers come to my aid. Um, what? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, no, no. You, you must be messengers. You have to be. He does sound pretty desperate, but I don't know if I buy his story entirely. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. How do you not Please, know? You have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. <laughs> of your transgression, your predicament, and your repentance, one has become aware. Thanks be to the Adeptus <laughs> of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out! When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing Adepti messenger! Well, not if you talk- if you say that right in front of him. Alright, is this what I'm supposed Pirate to be doing? I was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. I mean, I'm assuming they're in here. So... Sorry, I cut you off, Paimon. So let's follow the path down from here and make sure to be on the lookout for Amber on the way. I mean, we are literally surrounded by the stuff, but... I'm assuming it's not gonna be the stuff right up by the top. Probably a little bit further down, is this <laughs> it? Is that it? How do I open this stuff? There we go. Ooh, crystal fly. Hello. Alright, cool. Is it this one? I don't think so, because this one's like outside of the quest area, to be honest with you. Ooh, a chest. Thank Empty you. chest. Good for storage. Or is. Alright. I'm not too interested in fighting those slimes, so let's just keep going down. Challenge over there. I should probably do at some point. Oh, my bad. Ooh, nice. Alright. A reward on the road. Surprised that someone is still alive down there. Nope, they're there. I thought their little, um, arrow had disappeared, so we're out of battle, but no, we're still in battle. This is one way <laughs> for me to find all these chests. 
I noticed that that little animal was trapped in there as well, so... That was a little surprising. Oh, hello, boar. Goodbye, boar. I hear a slime. I don't see it, but I hear it there. Freeze. Not that one. One of the fast bites. Oops, I am stuck. There we go. Flower! Yay. And then there's stuff over here. There it is. Alright, where's the big guy? There he is. Freeze! Can I hit the middle. Oh, bye. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I do not want to go all the way down, thank you very much. Oh wait, there's a Geopolis though. Maybe I do. Where is it? Up or down? I think it's up, probably. Darn it, they reset. Uh, let's move away from the edge, how about that? Dodge this! I like that his cooldown on the um, charged version of his elemental ability is a lot faster than Lisa's was. It's convenient. You're not a person. I'm looking for a guy. Ooh, Draculus is this way. Whereabouts? In there? Is that an air current? I think it is. Heck yeah, it is. Oh, I missed. Got it that time, though. I think that's a, a loot drop down there as well. That's funny. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Is this one that I saw before? I don't think so. Okay, let's mark it, because I'll have to come from above to get it. <laughs> yeah, right on top of this little guy. We'll get that at some point. For now, we continue onward. One of these, I'm assuming, is going to be the one that we're looking for. Not this one, though. Smell of treasure. Strange. <laughs> oh, there he is. Alright, one second. I'm gonna get these other ones. Ow. Rude. My bad. That was too slow. Electro slime go. These guys sure are fast. Wow, I guess it must have exploded. Freeze. <sighs> the way he just laughs after running. Lights <laughs> me up. Oh hey birdie. Be free. Oh. <gasps> you're stuck in the tree. I'm so sorry about this, but I, I do need more power. Oh, you escaped. Such is the way of life on the mountain of the Adepti. A reward on the road. Okay, I think that's everything. There he is, waiting patiently for me. I appreciate it. <coughs> you doing all right? What, what happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are you going to reform your ways? Oh, and have you seen my brother? 
His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. He's the one who sent us looking for you. <sighs> so he's safe then? <sighs> yeah. Thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Yeah, careful with that. I mean, I did break everything coming down, so... You're probably fine. Yay. Hooray. Is there something I can collect? Or break? Oh. Um... I think I can teleport back up? I think so. Over there? <laughs> I hope I just see this giant beam of light glowing into the sky. Makes it easy enough to find them. Dodge this! <laughs> I have a feeling that I missed a little bit. There we go. I hope they don't mind if I'm taking their core lapis. It'll grow back, I assume. Ooh. Oh, I like the design of that puzzle Freeze. over there. That's pretty neat. So if I do this, I might be able to... Oh, I thought it would explode and get them all. Apparently not. Okay. Will your... Heck yeah, good job, Razor. Is this an answer from this world? I walked right past them, my bad. All right, pretending I'm coming up from the bottom. Hello. Thank you for rescuing my brother, oh mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. <laughs> Have you ever seen the Adeptus here? What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. The regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Not with that attitude. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers. So it's a whole different story. Well, I mean, how do you think one becomes an Adepti messenger? Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. They do seem very humble, so maybe maybe they are treasure hoarders for a good reason? Maybe they're telling the truth? I don't know. Yes. Thank Oh, you got cut off. You're welcome. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. I mean, technically, we are carrying a message from an Adeptus, so... Because it seems like this <laughs> Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oof. Who dares trespass Ooh. on my mountain? Who oh, they got cut off too. Why is this happening? Foolish mortal. Ooh. Come forth and receive your punishment. Are we gonna have to fight the bird? No, we're just speaking. Right. I'm suddenly very glad that I did not kill that bird that I freed. <laughs> Hi, Mountain Shaper. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. Sorry. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. Sorry. The thief's ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. I mean... Wait! We can explain! Uh, Mooncarver sent us. Mooncarver? Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Well, huh, about that, yes, but also no. Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. Please tell me that someone has made that meme where it's, um... It's like, you do something, and then someone says, you're not allowed to do that, and then the person says, don't worry, I have a permit, and then it's just a piece of paper that says, I do what I want. That is the vibes of this situation right now. I can do what I want, because Mooncarver said so. Thumbs up. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Oh, wow. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. I'm not even actually holding this thing in real life. 
but now I'm like anxious. Do not ruin this thing. It's so old. Oh my gosh, the oils in our hands probably shouldn't touch it. Wear gloves. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. I'm not sure what the distance of Liyue has to do with anything, but I'm not planning to lie. So here you go, Paimon, if you would. Oh, I explained. Look Rex at that. Lapis. Assassinated? At oh, the right no. of dissension? Oh no. What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? That's the question! One does not simply kill a god! Not even me! Like, maybe when the Traveler arrived, the siblings were like super powerful, but they did lose that big fight with the main god. I don't know if it's the main god still, but you know, the... Oh, what was her name? I forget her name. Sustainer of Heavenly Principles. So... Even if I was on the level to fight a god, I lost that fight, and I am theoretically weaker now than I was before, so... It wasn't me! And who could it have possibly been? I don't know. Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. Actually, I'm thinking, so I have two theories, actually, about this whole quote-unquote murder, right? One, could have been Child, because I'm remembering now that I met him. He's one of the Patui Harbingers, right? Powerful guy. But I don't think it was him. I mean, maybe? I don't think so, though. Because we know the Patui are, hmm, what are they after? When they were in Mondstadt, they were after Venti's Gnosis. So, reason stands that they're probably after... They might be after the Gnosis here as well? I feel pretty confident about that. Did they tell us that, or am I just guessing? Because in Mondstadt, they were after the Gnosis, but that could be specifically the Anima one. Maybe they don't care about the Geo one, but it's possible they do care about the Geo one. But if that were the case, I think he would want to be in and out extremely quietly, because the Fatui are in essence a diplomatic organization, so they wouldn't want to be blamed for a murder, so they could frame me, but he did help me, and also I think he would try for there to not be a murder at all, because then no issues, you know? Also, it didn't really seem like he had just been in a fight when we ran into him. Then again, I don't know, I don't really trust him at all, and we just met him. Um, so it could be Child. The other option is he's not dead at all. Rex Lapis, that is. I, I still feel like he's not dead at all. There's no way. He's a god. Like, if someone killed him, we'd have a much bigger issue at hand. Anyway, we'll see what's going on. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Mountain Shaper seems to believe it. But, I don't know, I'm just, I'm thinking about the rules of mystery writing, which, again, again... Well, in general, they aren't, you know, they aren't set in stone. You don't have to follow them. But in general, there are kind of rules of thumb that are guidelines for creating a well-written mystery. And this is kind of following a mystery plot, right? You've got a, a dead body. You're framed for murder. Who's the real suspect here? Um, according to those guidelines, by now, we should have already met or at least been introduced to the murderer or the concept of the murderer. So it's either someone we know already, a power we're already aware of, or it's we're all being hoodwinked. There's something else going on here. Because I don't think they're going to... I, I just really don't think that, you know, two chapters into this mission, what's it called? This quest line. They're going to bring in a new character and be like, yep, this is the guy who did it. I just don't think so. I, I really don't. Something else is going on here. But, like, okay, let's say, if he's not dead, then he's alive. And if he's alive, then he faked his death. What purpose could he have for doing that? And I feel like if he did that, um, 
these Adepti would probably be in the loop, right? Mountain Shaper was saying that they withdrew from humanity as, um, oh gosh, I forget the words that were used, but a gesture of goodwill, right? They're, I think the idea is these guys are extremely powerful, but they're not trying to control humans. They are letting humans do their own thing and flourish, and they're stepping back. So it's not like, oh, we are above the humans, or we're sick and tired of the humans. It's just, we are now leaving things in the hands of the humans. So, what I'm thinking is that the Adepti, they're not exactly trying to lock themselves away from the world. They're just trying to keep a respectful distance. So, to me, that says Rex Lapid should be able to go contact them whenever he wants, because he's, you know, the, the Geo Archon. So, clearly they all respect him. If he faked his own death, I feel like he would have spoken to them first. So maybe it is something to do with the Fatui. Those are my two main guesses. I should really just <laughs> keep seeing what happens, but I'm so curious. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. I like the personalities of these Adepti, that's all I'll say. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Can someone explain the Amber situation to me? Oh. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair. What? And rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Maybe it was the Liyue Shixing. Because that's a power we've been introduced to. And we saw that lady, what was her name? Um, what was her name? The lady who was doing the ceremony. She's pretty suspicious because if anyone should be prime suspect for this, it would be her. But for some reason, she was just immediately devoid of all suspicion. Like, oh, it couldn't have been her. She's too powerful. That's pretty suspicious in and of itself. Okay, she's my third theory. Anyways. So Rain, Adepti, tears? Yeah, Your sure. nonsense knows no <laughs> bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here. A flower? Called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. Oh. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. That's cool. After taking up residence here, one planted many Karst Crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Like the chests and the little animals and the birds and the slimes and the people? Oh, so the amber is alive? No, Correct. the alive. Oh. Thus, one not may bad. not leave this place in its current state for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. Oh, I like that. That's very responsible of you. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. I get it. I get it. I'll leave. I'll get out of your feathers. Hi. Can I go in here now? <gasps> oh, I can visit, but only when they're home. That's really cool. Okay, next up. Um, what's this? Draculas. Hmm, I remember now. There's one in like every direction. Okay. So what do we think? What do we think the real answer is? Do we think it was child? Something is telling me it wasn't him. Yeah, chest. Um, but that's also chest. Oh darn it! I forget which ones are chests and which ones are. Yeah, I can check my map on time. Yeah, something is telling me that it's not child. But then who? Who was it? There we go. Oh, I see you. That's a monument down there too. Ooh, and there's a guy. Hey, guy. The chest. Okay, this is just a plain chest, so we'll go for it. There might be enemies, but... Yep, there are enemies. Oh, it's a big boy! I was not expecting a big boy. 
Dodge this! Crumble apart! Slides. Okay. Hmm. Come back here. I'll race you there! Ooh. Oh, did I hit him? That's really interesting. Wait, he's stuck over there. That's really funny. Let it rain. Ooh, Bet yikes. you can't keep up with me. Cool it. This one will be frozen. There we go. Um, okay. So yeah, that's... I don't think it was child. Could have been... A reward on the road. The Liyue choosing, though, because they are the ones who are trying to hunt me down. They cast suspicion on me very quickly. Rude. Um... But why would they do that? Liyue kind of feels like it's all about checks and balances. It's the land of contracts, right? Or at least, um... Ooh, hey! You have sigils. Oh no, it's a violet. I just, I don't feel like they would turn against Rex Lapis. Where am I going? Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, good. A wind gust. This one is not on my map, so it is doubly important that I try to get it. Oh no. That's what I meant to do. So I guess that just leaves that Rex Lapis faked his own death, but why would he do that? That doesn't make sense either. So you know when things don't make sense, you know what we need to do? We need to think about the themes. What do the themes say? Hmm. What do the themes say? I don't know if I've seen enough of anything in Liyue yet to really conclude thematic significance. <gasps> Get up here. Do I just have to climb? <gasps> Hello, bird. I remember you. That way. Oh, I see it now. Wonderful. Must be me again. Oh, wow. Look at those stones. That's gorgeous. And there's a dais over there, and there's a thing I can read, and there's a bunch of chests around, but we are focusing on the plot. Just gonna gently float, looking around. I have to do that challenge Hey! Later. Who put this table here? They've even set it ready for dinner! There's a wine jug and everything! For a guest as well. But not for Baimon! There's only one seating. Oops. Ooh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats! Oh, there we go. Here sits Retainer. Okay. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex! Oh? Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. Is he, is he here? Oh my god, wait, was I right? No. No, no. Hmm. Why are there only two sets then if there's three of them? Wait, as what is going retainer, on? Hmm. <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. I love these names. They're really cool. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. I would like answers, please. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. 
But what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. Yeah, I, I have no idea either. Mm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. I mean, even if people offer the food, it doesn't necessarily mean the um, Adepti eat it. Do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some sticky honey roast? I am transparent right now. Is that your favorite food, Paimon? That's kind of that's good to know. I'll make you some for your birthday. Okay. Observe the stone chair. Yes, please. There are three stone chairs around this stone table, and each has each one has a line of text engraved on it. There's a wine jar in front of the chair on the southwest side, and engraved on this chair is here sits retainer. Okay. There's a bowl and a pair of chopsticks in front of the chair on the north side, engraved on this chair is here sits Guizhong. There's nothing on the table in front of the chair on the southeast side. Here sits Rex. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, is he dead? Wait, I don't know. Yeah, Rex Lapis. Rex being, um, masculine king instead of Regina for queen. Um, Freeze. so I'm looking for food? That's my quest now? Look for traces of food offerings. Oh, thank goodness my map is giving me a little bit of a hint. Oh, hello, my friends. is that when when I do that and I can see her face she's always smiling when she says that it seems like she really <laughs> has fun with that power for some reason I mean it's a fun power but oh was that the oh okay here we go someone has definitely cooked here before do you think they were making an offering or maybe it was the adeptus themselves it looks like they didn't use all the ingredients let's see here we got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Recipe? Yep. It's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. This is really sad. If Rexoff is, is actually dead, this Adeptus already knows about it. That what they've done. What would you call a dish that's made from snapdragon, lotus heads, and tofu? Hmm. It's just setting the table like that. It seems to me like a form of mourning. I don't know if I should really be bothering this person. It kind of feels like they already know. <laughs> Then maybe it is someone who's done it. You know, another possibility. It could be someone else from the Fatui. Not necessarily child. Because there's, um... 11 of those guys? Uh, the Harbingers? And they're supposed to be super strong. Strong enough to kill a god? I don't know. But it could have been... Maybe one of them? Infighting happening or something? I forgot what I was looking for. But I remembered. It's very clean here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Good to know. I'm on bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Hmm. What do you get if you cross Matsutake and raw meat? Hmm. <laughs> Paimon's having a lot of fun with this investigation. This is her favorite part of it all, I bet. Let's read this. Hello. 
To the one who views this monument, seek ye first the monuments in the mountain, and then only then return to the one erected here. Right. Okay. Let's put down a thing. Ruin monument. Aren't we in the mountains though? This is literally a mountain that we're on. Hello. Oh, no. I do actually need to be me. Thank you kindly. I'll keep this close. And then All right. Dodge this. Died a little bit again. It's actually pretty wild. It's been almost two months since I got sick Freeze. originally, and I'm still coughing. Not ideal. Alright. Very nice. I'll keep this close. Oh. <laughs> Standing straight up, it's really funny. Oh, sorry, buddy. Probably I shouldn't be killing things on the Adeptites Mountains, but... Examine! Whoa! The ground is covered in flour! <sighs> what a messy chef! Flour is pretty uncontrollable, not gonna lie. Ooh, seems there's meat in this pot, but Paimon can't tell which kind! Uh... Do you think whoever no cooked idea. this as an offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Oh, there's lots of tasty things you can make with those. Huh? Like a pastry. Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew! And there's a huge footprint on it, too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. Let's see what it is. It's not gonna tell me? I've been so curious. What kind of dish uses only flour and meat? Oh, only flour and meats. Oh dear. Yeah, no spices or anything? No seasoning? <laughs> Concerning. So are we supposed to choose one of those three to give to Cloud Retainer? Oh dear. I don't know which one will be right. <laughs> I'll keep this close. So now I go back to the table, I guess. Maybe I can take the path this time. Approximately. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't dare sit on any of these chairs, though. I'll just have to stand. Oh no, I have to choose one? Oh no, okay. Matsu Take meat rolls, Mora meat, jewelry soup. I mean, jewelry soup it sounds like the most impressive. It had the most diverse set of ingredients. Mora meat, though. Mora is associated with Rex Lapis. We learned that from one of the loading screens. And then the meat rolls with the, the mushrooms. That's the one that was super neat, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know which one to do. Oh, no. Wait, zero out of three. Can I do all three of them? Oh, I... Excuse me, I have to make it first. Okay, um, closest campsite. Let's go that way. Okay. Let's learn. Let's learn. Okay. Let's make some of this. Oh wait, Barbara's cooking. Ooh. 12% chance of obtaining double the product. Ooh. Restorative effects. Okay, so anything with restorative effects, that's amazing. How many of these supplies do I have? 
Loads, okay. How many stars is this? I think it's only two stars. Yeah. Only two stars. To be honest, I never use food anyway, so it's kind of fine. I want to offer her this, to be honest. Nope, oh, I accidentally exited. Oh, I'm on fire. Good thing I exited. Um, I want to offer this, to be honest. Look at that. Very tempting, but I don't have the ingredients. Okay, jewelry soup. Oh, I don't have a lot of tofu. Okay. Ooh. Noelle has a 12% chance to obtain double the product for defense soups. Or defense food. That's great. Look at that, we got two. Okay, we're gonna leave it there because I have no more tofu. What was that third thing? It was Mora... Mora meats. I don't have any. Oh, that's why I didn't get the... The recipe thing showing up because I already had some. Do I really need proficiency in this? Not really. But let's make four. Well, if we're making four, we might as well make five. <laughs> I love how the ingredients are literally just meats and flour. That's really funny. Okay. We have everything. Let's go make an offering, I guess. Okay. Um, let's start with the soup. It just seems like the nicest. Okay, we do have to offer all three. Good, I'm glad I don't have to choose. There you go. Teleport waypoint? What? Can I teleport to this table? Oh no, I would not dare sit. Let's go find Cloud Retainer, I guess. We could go inside. That's exciting. Hope it's not a fight, though. Or maybe I do. That sounds like fun. 